So that was politics and policy and a lot of it. <laughs> Let's talk about innovation and technology now. You and I will soon be able to take a flying taxi to the airport, we're told. Companies around the world are working towards bringing flying cars to our cities. These flying cabs will reduce travel time to a fourth and will be cheaper than a helicopter ride. You may be able to book one in two years' time. Here's a report. It may not be too long before you see air taxis in the sky. We're talking 2025. That's three years from now. A Japanese airline plans to bring air taxis to Osaka by then. Flying vehicles will be connecting the airport to the city centers. They will reduce travel time to one-fourth. In Singapore, air taxis could be taking off before 2025. The country is looking at a 2024 launch. The plan is similar. The taxis will connect the Changi Airport to Marina Bay and Sentosa. They will reduce travel time and hassle. Singapore completed flying taxi trials in 2019. All that's left now is a commercial rollout. A popular Asian airline is planning to bring air taxis to all Southeast Asian countries by 2025. Orders have been placed for at least a hundred flying cars. Boeing is building these flying taxis. So is Airbus, Hyundai and several other big companies. Now the question is, how will these flying taxis look? Well, very different. Not just from our present day cars, but from each other. Air taxis will come in several shapes and sizes. Some will have helicopter type rotors, some airplane type wings. There will also be air taxis that will look like our conventional cars with wings. Basically, designers are going all out. These flying cars are expected to cover 280 kilometers in an hour. An airplane covers up to 930 kilometers per hour. A fast car on a highway covers 120. So our flying taxis will be somewhere in between cars and airplanes. But isn't that where helicopters come in? If the idea is to have urban air transport and flying vehicles that take off vertically, can't we just have more choppers instead? Well, we can. But air taxis are more advanced. They are also quieter than helicopters. At least a hundred times. They are also safer, cleaner and cheaper. Currently, a helicopter ride from Manhattan to New York's John F. Kennedy Airport costs $200. A shared air taxi ride will cost $70. That's less than half. Urban air taxis are basically cleaner, cheaper and better looking choppers. A Frost and Sullivan study found 430,000 such air taxis could be flying in our skies by 2040. Morgan Stanley believes the autonomous urban aircraft market could be worth $1.5 trillion by 2040. That's a lot of money and a lot of time saved in traffic. We look forward to happy landings.